laundry, no kitchen, but. So this is the five star accommodation, the penthouse suite, uh, obviously with a very expensive Tempur-Pedic mattress, complete with ants and bugs. And ow, I got bit, ow, ow, I got bit by an ant. Weirdly, normally you come to Africa and you expect to have a bit of diarrhea, but the opposite has happened to me and nothing's come out for five days. And I've been eating hell, hell of a lot of rice, so. I don't know where it's going. Ah! We're gonna we're about to slaughter a sheep. <laughs> It's not a party till somebody eats glass. <laughs> and we had the glass. I and mean, it's pitch black, we must be crazy. There are no life jackets. And we're going into that sea to have a look at how the fishermen catch the fish on a rickety old canoe. Yes, I am a little bit scared. I'm scared, I'm scared. For what? For what? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We're falling in the sea. No, 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 no we are not falling. The boat is, the boat, yeah, the boat is safe. The boat is safe. The boat is safe. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about the whole catching of the fish thing. Hey, you when you're in the Atlantic Ocean, you see the, the shark. Yeah. There are different kinds of shark. No, normally I'm a very brave girl. But <laughs> being on this boat in the middle of the dark and a long way from shore no, is no, probably no. one of the scariest things I've done in my life. I'm not too sure about these models. They aren't great. <laughs> Maybe they ran out. Maybe these are the extra ones. So normally, a normal day, you're the ma manager here at the yeah. building. Yeah, yeah. You've got a couple of cars. Yeah. Today you had models. Yeah. It's, it's a nice thing to have a possibility to, to, possibility to change. Couldn't uh, Lexus become a model agency instead? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> then you can have then you can have models all day. Yeah. Well, this is it's nice to have a car also. <laughs> This, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's silicone. And in the Blue Lagoon later, you can have to take some, rub it on your hands and on your face. Mm -hmm. Make your skin look beautiful. Ah, oh, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> and that man's going to walk right in front of our shot. Nice one. Anyway, we'll continue because it's all part of the thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to be here. As you can tell, I'm like, have a smile the size of banana on my face. And um, we've got our first start of the week pitching in a Blue Lagoon. We've got Gunnar here. Gunnar, how are you doing? Hi guys, I'm doing great. Welcome to the Blue Lagoon. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? It's awesome. Is this just like us going to Big Ben for you? Um, yeah, we do this every morning. It's quite boring then. <laughs> <laughs> just tell us uh, what you've got on your... Uh, <laughs> that's quite funny, people get getting get in the way. Um, just tell us what you've got on your face and what you put on my face. Um, this is regular uh, silicone mud. <laughs> but they do play with stuff that looks like something else in a blue lagoon, which is weird. What does it look like? Um, uh, I don't want to say. We've got children. Our viewers are, are under 18. It's uh... <laughs> Just like regular silicone you can find in every ordinary <laughs> swimming pool here in Iceland. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. So to be honest, Iceland hasn't really got much left apart from fishing. They tried banking and it just didn't work. So once again, they've had to turn back to sea fishing to bring in their dosh. And it's the only thing they've got to trade, really. I mean, there's not much else here. Excuse me. Uh, have you uh, seen any whales? <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Now I know what you're thinking. Who does she think she is? A model? And yeah, you're right. I'll leave it to the professionals. Oh. 
Yeah, no elect electricity or anything. And if you take pictures over there, um, it shines back and it's just impossible to take pictures up there. And two of the designers have gone home? Yeah, I heard, yeah. I'm not sure though. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but apparently if we touch a rock or put a foot on a rock, we're going to jail in Iceland. You're going to get arrested. This is a complete scandal here, Iceland Fashion Week. Uh, I don't understand why they're upset. The designers have spent shitloads of money on um, putting these collections, collections together and one designer said she hasn't slept for a month. But at the same time, egos just get on with it. I mean, come on, really, like... Uh, this, is, this, is, this is the problem with the fashion industry. Give me tech. I want tech. No, I can you don't work yeah. your ass off to show it in front of shit. I mean, I can see, I can see both sides here. I can see both sides. I, I'm, I'm I understand your you know, point completely. There's, You've already shown yeah. your collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have yeah. it. Yeah, that's why I said I understand you as well. Yeah. I just said my point because I wasn't care because I. I came here not for the pictures, but just to mm -hmm. to show because you know yeah. it's, it's interesting because some of the designers you know that, that have showed and stuff or are going to show are saying that you know it's, they've they've had their collection shown before and it's um, not about the collection it's uh, about the stage it's about the collection and then I can understand the designers who are showing for the first time and they've put lots of effort and money into their collections controversy here at Iceland Fashion Week 2009 let's see it unfold punch up okay so now let's get this get this this for a story so now all the designers are going back to the base where we're staying at 744 because they think that our stuff stuff's are going to get robbed by cola and um, the organizers so they're all rushing back to the base because they think all their stuff's going to get robbed this is, this is just funny it's, it's so funny that's all i know sorry this is going to be a whole video of commastasis and seas In the, the in the Columbia beauty pageant, some of people have silicon injected into their butts. Yes, it's true. Yeah, that's true. Do you have, do you have a silicon butt? Yeah. yeah. No, but you have no, silicon. No, no. Silicon. Does that, that here? Yes. Here. In the back? No. She does a, a lot of exercise. Uh, no, no, no silicon no. butt. No. <laughs> why, why do so many girls have silicon injected into I their butt? I don't know. I don't know, but that's awful. That's not nice. And I, and I heard a lot of girls in the competition have fake boobs. Yes, there's a lot of mad, there's a lot of women here in Colombia and many parts in the world that decide to have, you know, medical procedures. But that's normal, there's nothing bad with that. Do you have real boobs? Yes, I have real boobs. <laughs> oh, real boobs, this is a real, real Colombian. <laughs> this is a rare find, you know, very rare find. We're about to go up on out to the field. I'm really excited because I've never been on a pitch before. Let's go up. Let's go. I've got my, um, I'm supporting this girl here, apparently. Incredible. Wow. I love the noise. They're all cheering for their uh, the team. I wonder if I hold this up if it will do anything. It's incredible. Yeah, you can definitely uh, see the difference between this uh, pageant and the other pageant. The other pageant that had like air conditioning and Rolex watches and uh, this pageant has grass and lots of noise, I like Can you sign my bra? Could <laughs> <laughs> you sign it? You good, for good luck. Is that on the back, right here? Yeah. I'm just going to sign my bra for good luck. Hopefully I'll get some of her queen magic. And I'll be able to find the one. I don't know if it's going to work. Probably won't really, but I'm open. We'll try. <laughs> Things you got to do for video on the internet. <sighs> the beauty contest, the beauty pageant here in Cartagena is about to start. I can't even tell you how amazing the atmosphere is. This is incredible. We're down here on the baseball pitch. We've got the stage behind us. The crowd are going absolutely insane. I mean, I can never ever imagine this reaction from an American or British beauty contest. It's incredible. <laughs> Queens, you can see behind me, the crowd is going absolutely crazy. 
crazy. This is an amazing experience. Being here with all the people, the crowd going crazy. Now it gets exciting. We've been waiting long enough, so it better bloody be good. I wonder if I can join on the end. Beautiful girls, and uh, I think this is the test. Right, Sorry. This is what a whole horde of Colombian women look like. travel.